to Pretty Pastel Pastries. Now for today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to create this Hello Kitty breakable for Halloween. I hope you all enjoy. Now let's go ahead and get started. So let's first start with melting our candy melts or chocolate. So in this case, I will be using this Great Value Almond Bark and I did purchase this one from my local Walmart. So all I'm doing is just simply keeping the chocolate inside of the bag and we're just breaking all these individual little squares. This method is my favorite. It helps reduce the mess of this chocolate because it does come in a larger size than the regular small candy melts. And we're also going to be using, to melt this chocolate, our OXO silicone cup. That cup is perfect for melting all chocolate or candy melts in the microwave in increments. It's really flexible and easy to use. Now that our three blocks of chocolate are inside our cup, we're going to go ahead and place this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and we're going to make sure we give this a really good stir after each and every addition. So now that we have melted our chocolate here, we're now going to transfer a little bit of our chocolate into this smaller container. And this smaller container is from the same collection as the OXO. This one just comes in a three-part set, so you do get that small, medium, and large cup. And this is the final consistency we get with using this almond bark here. And it's really, really great to work with. I really enjoy using this one. And to color our chocolate here, I am going to use the color pink. And this one is in the brand Chef Master. Remember, a little bit of this product really goes a long way. So I just had to use two drops to make this really pretty hot pink color. And I really like how this one turned out. I'll show you guys in the next clip how we're going to color our Hello Kitty mold. Now for this color, we're going to use a combination of two colors. So we're going to use the color mint and yellow from Color Mill. So we're going to use two parts mint to one part yellow. So here in the clip, I'm going to show you exactly how much of each one I put inside. And all you have to do is just mix it all around and you're going to create that same color effect that I got on my breakable Hello Kitty. And the really amazing thing about mixing your own colors is that you don't have to go out and find that specific color that you know someone else is using. If you already have a standard set in your collection and you have a variety of different colors, you can always do a quick Google search and find that color that you're wanting to make. Like for example, fuchsia. You can find what colors can make that and go from there. So that's just the beginning of it, but it also helps, you know, save a little bit more money and kind of just figure out ways to make your own colors. So now we're going to get started on our breakable Hello Kitty. And just in case you are curious to know where I got all of these products, make sure to check the description box down below. So our first step is going to be adding our orange color to the nose of Hello Kitty here. And you also always want to make sure with every step you're tapping to make sure there are no air pockets when you release this mold. Next up, we're going to grab our pink color. We're going to outline that little bow on the top left side of the Hello Kitty. And you're going to want to take your time with this, making sure everything is as precise as possible. Now here's another tip. You want to make sure your piping bag is as close to where you're piping. This is going to minimize the amount of air pockets. So when you release the mold, you don't see like those little holes where you're missing chocolate. So as long as you keep it really close to where you're piping, you should be all set. So this is it for our first step of creating our mold here. So now this is going to go in my refrigerator for about seven minutes or until it's completely set. With the magic of editing, we are back with our set mold here. So our next step is going to be adding in our lime green colored chocolate. And all we're going to do is simply dump all of this chocolate inside of the mold. You want to make sure you have a lot of chocolate in there so you don't have difficulty moving it all throughout the sides. And just like that, we're going to move it all around and I'll be back to show you guys what to do next.
Now that we've taken off as much chocolate as we can, we're going to use the side of our spatula and we're going to scrape off all that extra chocolate just because if we do leave it on there, it's going to start setting and it's going to be very difficult to take it off. So right now is the easiest way to avoid that. So again, we're going to tap this on our countertop to take off some of those extra air pockets. And this will be going in our refrigerator for about 15 minutes or until yours is completely set. Now we're on to our step number three in this process. So now we're going to grab our lime cream chocolate again and we're going to add it all inside. We're going to repeat the same process as step number two and we're going to place it back into the refrigerator for about 15 minutes or until yours is completely set to the touch. This is now our last and final step to making sure Hello Kitty has a really strong base so that nothing breaks or cracks during the removal process. So all I'm doing is dipping my spatula inside of my chocolate, then I'm using one side of the spatula to just kind of move this all around the edges. And as we're doing this, always remember to go back to the top of your mold and scrape off that extra chocolate. Now this will be going back into our refrigerator for about five to seven minutes. So now that our chocolate has been completely set in the refrigerator, it's now time to start removing this from its mold here. So we're going to start grabbing the top side of our pink mold and we're going to start pulling away from the chocolate very slowly. You want to make sure you go all the way around the Hello Kitty and we're going to repeat that same process four to five times. You really want to make sure that that mold just kind of starts expanding little by little and as you're doing that the mold is going to start to expand and in a little bit I'm going to show you what it's going to look like after the several times that we go all around this mold here. So it's going to start looking a lot more like this and this is when you can now start to turn over the mold and we can pull it really slowly from one side to the other. Just like that we have this Hello Kitty mold. So now we're ready to start with our Hello Kitty decoration here. So in my piping bag, I just have some black melted candy melts. And to make sure our Hello Kitty's eyes look nice and smooth, we're just going to tap this a little bit on our countertop. Just like that we have one side done. Let's do the other and make sure to tap again. So now we're on to our whiskers and we're going to do the same thing that we did with Hello Kitty's eyes. It's just that we're going to add a straight line on the side of the mold here. And there is like an indentation where you're able to add that inside. So once we have everything completely piped on the side, we're going to lift it up a little bit and we're going to create that same tapping motion just so that everything looks smooth on that side as well. And to the side, we're just going to add some pink stitching. Okay, we're getting to one of my favorite parts of this entire video, and it is adding our glitter to the bow here. So I do have some Wilton Dab and Hold, and I'm going to add this to a small container. We're also going to grab a very small detailed brush, just to kind of control where this is going. And we're going to add a thin layer all across our pink bow. And just a little quick tip, you can also use the same exact technique that we're doing right now, to do on your chocolate covered strawberries. It's going to be the exact same thing. You want to make sure you add a very thin layer. So the edible glitter we are going to use today is from the brand Crafty Cake Shop in the color White Pearl. All we're going to do is grab a small detailed brush. We're going to pat lightly all around that bow. So dip it inside of your glitter and we're going to tap this lightly all around. You want to make sure you stay in that area of the bow you don't want to go off to the sides because then you will start adding a little bit more glitter to the mold and unless you do not want to do that, 
just kind of stick to the bow area and keep adding and adding as much as you would like. Now the crazy thing is, is that this camera doesn't even pick up like how reflective and shiny it is in person. I mean, you can see it a little bit in camera, but not as much as like if you were to see it in person here. But I hope I'm going to pick it up in a little bit and you're going to see like how reflective it is. But oh my gosh, guys, it is seriously very, very beautiful. If you do try this out, let me know how it goes down for you in the comment section. Now, since this is a breakable, feel free to add any type of candy underneath or even small little gifts that fit inside. I'm also going to add some tool to this really cute mallet here. Just like that, we have this breakable Hello Kitty. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Halloween tutorials coming up. And down below, like this video. I'll catch you guys on my next tutorial. Bye guys, have a lovely day.